好，第十一條啦，又係好直白嘅題目啊！咁啊，問翻我哋人類嘅 A、B、O 血型，咁啊由多重嘅等位基因咧去控制，咁呢個都係其中一個我哋要 check 下嘅 concept 啦。咁啊，有等位基因 I 大 A、I 大 B 就令到我哋嘅紅血球表面咧，分別就有抗原 A 同埋抗原 B。而等位基因世界 I 咧，就令到我哋紅血球表面咧，係唔會有任何嘅抗原 A 或者抗原 B 嘅。咁除咗多重等位基因之外咧。Codominance 共顯性咧，其實都係講緊喺血型我哋想學嘅嘢嚟嘅。而題目就問啦，根據呢個描述咧，究竟我哋有幾多款嘅基因型咧喺個血型嘅表現當中？根據多重等位基因同埋共顯性嘅概念咧 ，A、B 型血咧，佢哋各自都有兩款可能性嘅。A 型血佢可以純合型嘅 I 大 A、I 大 A， 或者集合型嘅 I 大 A 能夠世界 I。B 型血亦都一樣。而 A、B 型血就係典型嘅共顯性例子，而世界世界 I 咧就係 O 型血，所以答案咧就係六款啦。Question eleven is very straightforward. It's asking about the human ABO blood group system. It's controlled by the multiple allele. That's one of the concept checking in this question. Allele I big A and allele I big B lead to the presence of antigens A and B on the surface of red cell respectively. An allele small letter I leads to the absence of antigens A and B on the surface of the red cells. So how many genotypes are involved in the ABO blood group system? So based on the multiple allele and the codominance concept, so we take a look at the blood group A B, and there are two possible genotypes. It can either be homozygous I big A I big A or heterozygous I big A and small I, and two other possible genotypes in blood group B. And the blood group A B is the classic example of the codominance. And then for the blood group O with the homozygous small small I, so that's why there are six types of genotype.